Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this sort of creative, edgy, editorial makeup look using all drugstore products because it's honestly not about how much money you spend. You can still create amazing looks, full coverage looks, really creative, really outside of the box looks using drugstore makeup. It's about, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, getting creative, just practicing and having fun with it. So that is why I wanted to create this look today. I really didn't know where I was going with it. There were some parts where I was kind of like, it's not gonna turn out well, but I feel like it pulled together and I actually do really like how the look turned out now. So I hope you guys are excited to see how I created it. Just keep watching if you wanna see all the steps, all the drugstore products that I used to create this look. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right down below and also turn the notification bell on if you always wanna be notified of my videos. A little notification will pop up on your phone and we'll be good to go. You'll be part of the notification fam. So let's go ahead and get on into the video. We are going to start off with the eyes because this is gonna be more of an edgy editorial sort of look. So definitely wanna do the eyes first whenever you're doing something like that, just in case you make any mistakes. It's a lot easier to fix. And if you do get fallout, you can easily, you know, wipe it away. So we're gonna start off, where is my eyeshadow base? Here we go. I'm gonna be using the NYX HD eyeshadow base. I like this one a lot because it actually does help with pigmentation. So I just apply it and then kind of just blend it out with my fingertips. Also, please excuse my knuckles. We've had a little bit of a catastrophe here. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Don't come closer. We need to have like one of those caution signs, like caution, do not approach the knuckles. Primed. Boom. You can see how it does actually like cancel out some coloring there. Just to make it easier later on when we blend everything out, I always go in with like just a cream ivory sort of shade from the brow bone down into the lash line. Now I really look like an egg. This is gonna be How to Look Like an Egg by Roxa Teresa. For our eyeshadow, this is the palette that I'm gonna be using. It's the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in the shade Smoke Screen. I'm mostly gonna be focusing on this little row of shades right here. I feel very inspired by this row of shades. You guys don't know what just happened. I think I just sat here for two hours trying to decide what kind of look that I was gonna do, but I finally decided on this row of shades. These tones right here, these tones are what we're gonna be working with. So yeah, but before we do that, I definitely need to put down somewhat of a transition shade. So I think I don't see one in here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go into this other NYX palette. I just happen to have like four of these on me today. So yeah, I'm gonna use this shade right here from this other NYX palette. This is the shade Sugar High. Don't be afraid to lay down that line, you know? Throw in some heat right away. And I like to kind of hold my mirror underneath just so I can get a clear view of my eye lid. <laughs> I'm gonna use more of a tapered brush. So this is the Morphe M513. And I'm gonna go in first with this darkest shade of the teal line. Wherever you want your shadow dispersed more is where you should go in with the shadow first and then you can kind of blend out once you have less pigmentation on the brush or less pigment on the brush I should say. I've never done a look like this so fingers crossed. Normally I do like to keep more of a rounded shape you can see I already did that with the transition but for this look I'm actually going to try to bring the wings out a little bit bring the shadow out but again I'm using very little eyeshadow at first and then I'm going to build it up later for this part. We're getting crazy. Kind of looks like the McDonald's sign right now. I <laughs> like two arches. <laughs> Too bad it's not gold. The golden arches. But for everybody who's always like, all your looks look the same, this one's for you. Okay. I'm just gonna blend a little bit of this middle shade into the outer portion and kind of coming in. So we're kind of making like a little half moon almost. The NYX palettes or these NYX palettes, the top shade is matte, the middle shade is more of like a shimmery sheen and then the bottom shade is metallic. So now I'm gonna take more of like a sheeny shade, shimmery sheen shade and just kind of blend that right into this outer portion. I feel like this is going in a weird direction. I kind of look like the Hamburglar or a raccoon. Uh-huh, you think yes? <laughs> you know what, you guys, it's editorial. It don't have to be perfect. It's more artistic. It's not Instagram makeup. Instagram makeup is so, so stringent upon perfection. 
lid time. So for the lid, I'm gonna be using this shade right here, this little blue. Woo, that's actually very pigmented. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wet my brush too, just to make it real poppy. NYX, don't let me down here. It's not pigmented enough. We are gonna go in with a little bit of concealer first. It's gonna help intensify the shadows once we put it on. It's almost like using MAC Cosmetics um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but we're just gonna try it with concealer because this is drugstore, trying to keep it, trying to keep it affordable. We'll see if this works. I'm honestly never, not sure. I've never done this before with this concealer, so. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah, much better. So I'm kind of just pressing it into the lid to get the most pigment possible. Obviously, if you're doing this, like you may get fallout, but it's okay because we have not yet done the eye makeup or the face makeup. Boom, that's some pigment. Now I wanna go in and blend out this edge right here cause I don't want it to be too sharp. I'm not trying to go for a cut crease here. I'm gonna just, you know, try to blend a little bit of this out back up into the crease. I'm like honestly just gonna wing, wing it, but I meant to say like I'm winging it out, but I'm also winging it, so. I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown shade that's from that same palette, just to add a little bit more dimension. Look how far out it's going. Is that good or no? Yeah, editorial. It is editorial, there we go. That's what I'm going for. Honestly, this is the kind of look that I'm gonna wear to the grocery store, to the gas station, to Whole Foods. I like to keep this bigger fluffy blending brush on hand just so that I can continuously blend out the edges here. But it's coming, it's coming. I can feel it. I got this feeling inside my bones. I actually like that. <laughs> now, the trick is to repeat that on the other eye. Honestly, don't even remember what I've done at this point because um, I did so much just now. We're just gonna try to repeat that though to make it look as Similar as we can. Wow, it's really making my eyes look light, like light brown. <laughs> Iced tea. I didn't even realize how far I took it out, but I really blended this shade up and out. Now I kind of look like a peacock. It's gone from McDonald's arches, Hamburglar, peacock. We are going for it today. I don't think I've ever brought my shadows out this far. Ever. Like, I don't think this part of my face has ever touched an eyeshadow before until today. I legit look like the Hamburglar right now, dude. <laughs> like a purple, like a blue Hamburglar. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness, my hair got messed up when I ran into that thing and spilled the salsa. Upsetting, to say the least. I look like a crazy person, dude. A legitimate crazy person. I mean, I already knew I was crazy, but like, I've never intentionally made a makeup look to look crazier. Ooh, do a little bit of. <laughs> We're gonna do photos after this, so. If it doesn't look good in the video, hopefully it looks good in photos at least, you know? Sometimes makeup looks look better when you're at an angle, you know, when it's like. <sighs> but I am obviously gonna clean this up. It's not gonna stay like that. What did y'all think I was doing here? That brown really brings this look to life, I'll be honest. It takes it from Smurf to, uh, I don't know, Dior or something. You know, makes it a little high fashion rather than just all blue. What's that song? I'm blue, I'm a diva, I'm a diva. My brow bones are kind of non-existent. <laughs> but it's all right, we'll clean that up. Speaking of cleaning up, I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up the edges um, cause I don't want the shadows to be drooping down. I want it to be more uplifted, but I do not want it to be straight. So a lot of times people like will literally go like this and make a straight line, which is fine for, you know, some looks if that's the look that you're going for, but I'm not going for that today. So don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna make light strokes. And if you do make it too straight, you could always go back in and blend it out with like a little blending brush, which is probably what I'm gonna do because I feel like I just cut too much off. 
Let's go ahead and move to the face makeup and we'll come back to clean up the eyes because I feel like I need to get the face makeup done and then I'll know like what to do with the rest. So today I'm gonna be going in with a very full coverage foundation. This is Milani's Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and I'm using the shade Sand. Oh dear, it's so dark. <sighs> I've been requested to do matte. No highlighter, I know. A lot of times, makeup is just about having fun. Even I get into funks where like I take it too seriously and I'm like, everything has to be perfect. I have to do this wing liner, I have to do highlighter, I have to do this and that. And like, it really doesn't have to be like that. At the end of the day, for me at least, like makeup is about having fun, getting creative. That is what today's video is all about. Getting creative, doing something different that you know you normally wouldn't do, even though technically I'm gonna be wearing this to the gas station and the grocery store and the post office. And people are gonna be like, whoa, Smurfette in the building. But honestly, this foundation is bomb. <laughs> No, it's really, it's a really good foundation from the drugstore. A lot of people ask like what other foundations I like other than Maybelline Fit Me because I know I talk about that one a lot, but this is definitely one of my top favorites from the drugstore because I mean, just it's so full coverage. I feel like it still wears really well. Like it still looks like skin. You know what I mean? Like it still looks like you're not too crazy. Definitely need to blend this down the neck today. Gotta pull out the big guns. It's so big, it just kind of gets her done. Even though it's still looking kind of smurfy, it's actually starting to come together to me. I see my vision, it's coming. Now for our concealer, this is a really nice full coverage concealer as well. So this is from Maybelline, it's the Master Conceal, and this is actually what I used on my eyelids as well to kind of create a base for the metallic shadow. You do not want to apply too much because this is a very full coverage concealer. If you apply too much, it will cake up on you. Now I look like Pocahontas. Every new step that I take, I feel like I look like a different character, which reminds me, I am so excited for Halloween. I have this one idea of this tutorial. Woo! I'm so excited, you guys. Now that I'm talking about characters, I'm gonna be thinking about this Halloween video that I have in mind the whole rest of the video because I'm so excited for this video. Like, you don't have any idea. I've been thinking about it all the time. Like, I go to sleep at night and I'm just like, what else can I add to this character? <laughs> This legit looks like Pocahontas. Luckily, this concealer is actually really light, so it's kind of evening out the foundation, even though it's a little dark. That's one little hack that I do a lot is if the foundation is too light, I'll use a bit more bronzer. But if the foundation is too dark, you can always use a concealer that is like maybe a shade or two lighter and kind of clean everything up and make it look more even. Cody Airspun loose powder. This is a great loose powder from the drugstore. Honestly, it does smell a little crazy. Like it smells like an old lady to me, like a little old grandma. I'm just gonna bake a little bit cause I want to keep the skin looking fresh. So really only the spots where I crease a lot, which is definitely in the smile lines and underneath the eyes, but we're gonna wipe it off very quickly. Like don't let it sit for too long if you don't want it to look cakey, you know? I had it on for like two seconds. I'm gonna add on the tiniest amount of bronzer. Do not go heavy handed on this. When you have a lot going on in the eyes, I like to keep the face makeup a lot more subdued just because I want to balance it out. I'm gonna be using my favorite, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells so good, oh my God. Just a little, not too much. Okay, we need to move back to these eyes really quick. I actually wanna blend this out a little bit more. I didn't pick up any extra product. I'm just kind of winging out what we have and blurring out the edges here and bringing it down here. Sorry I'm switching between two um, palettes here. They are both from NYX and they're both the same collection, but it is two different shades. So I'm going back into the Sugar High palette. This is the palette that I had the transition shade in, but I'm gonna take this purple shade up here and place that underneath right here. Gonna smoke it out. Have a little bit more color in there, you know? I went too crazy on the bottom. We're back on track, guys. This this makeup look is gonna be a lot of trial and error. It's almost more like a get ready with me. It's not really a tutorial, because honestly, I shouldn't be che teaching something I don't really know how to do. But um, yeah, it's kind of like a get ready with me editorial glam. I messed this one up and it started to look a lot more angular and now it's going past the eyebrow, but I kind of like that. So I'm actually gonna make the other eye do the same thing now. I think that looks good. No. <laughs> Oh God, 
I figured out a little technique here, you guys. I'm blending out the edges of the shadows with the tip of my blender where I already blended out my concealer. But I actually didn't pick up any extra product. It's just what's already on the blender. So it's doing a very soft blend. And this is kind of the only thing that's pulling this eye look together. Cause I am starting to feel like I've made a million and one mistakes and am getting nowhere. Um, but now that I'm doing it with the blender, I feel like we're getting somewhere. I call this the soft blend, the Roxette Arisa soft blend. Ooh, it kind of looks good now. Yes, soft blend, come through. I figured out something. Did one thing right the whole day. I am gonna add on a really spectacular brow bone highlight. Going back into the smoke screen palette, I'm gonna take this shade up here. Actually, I'm also gonna wet my brush and put that under the brow bone. Yes, yes, it's coming together. I really was losing hope here. This brow bone highlight is really working. Has a little bit of purple iridescence, which I actually really like. <sighs> We're laying down some heat now, guys. It only took me two hours to finally figure out where this look was going, but I'm feeling it. I feel it in my bones that this is right. You know when you can just feel that something's right, you know, in life, in life in general, like you feel it. You feel when something's in place and this brow bone highlight just put everything into its place. Boom, 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 boom. We're ready, ready. I'm ready for New York Fashion Week. Thoroughly enjoying this brow bone highlight. We're just gonna add on a little bit more because I like it so much. Don't be afraid to go hams on that inner corner, honestly, because Again, I feel like this is kind of the brow bone highlight sort of thing and the highlight in general is what's bringing this look together right now. So I've been requested. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put some black into the waterline. We're not doing any shadows under there because we already went down that road and it was a little crazy. Honestly, like once I put the shadows down there, it just started to look all sorts of crazy. So I'm just using black in the waterline. This is a great black waterline pencil. It's from Rimmel London and it's the Scandalize Waterproof Coal Kajal. Now the last step is to add on mascara and lashes. I think that it's really gonna pull the look together though. <laughs> I'm excited now. Now it's making me excited. My fave mascara, L'Oreal Lash Voluminous. It's so good, you guys. It's honestly bomb. People are saying it's like a dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex. Honestly, I think it's better than Too Faced Better Than Sex. And it's like, what, a quarter of the price, half the price? For lashes, I'm gonna be using these from Ardell. They're the 207 Blacks. These are one of the longer styles. I do recommend using a longer pair whenever you're kind of winging your shadows out like this, just because it's gonna make the look a lot more complete. Okay guys, I was trying to keep it all drugstore honestly, but these lashes, they're not um, voluminous enough. So I'm actually just gonna go back to my House of Lashes Iconics. You guys know this is like my favorite pair. They're not that much more expensive than drugstore lashes to be honest with you guys. Ardell's probably run about like seven to eight dollars um, at Target and stuff. These are $10, so they're not really that much more expensive. So hopefully that's okay for you guys. Um, it's $10 if you buy the three pack, which I always do, so yeah. I always like to also go underneath, ah, right there, <laughs> to make the lashes blend in better with the false lashes. Especially if you've used your lashes a lot, you'll have glue residue, so it makes the lashes kind of sit up from your natural lashes, so there's like a space. So you wanna cover that up. I always do this because I use my lashes, like I kid you not, I probably use them 30 times before I throw them away. Truffle Teas by Maybelline. Oh, it's a little nub. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's definitely very different for me. I can't believe I didn't add highlight, but I'm feeling it. I kind of like it. You know, I kind of like that the face is very minimalistic, very matte, but still very kind of doll-like, flawless looking, I would say thanks to this guy, because we all know my skin's all flawless. But um, yeah, I know this look isn't like the most wearable look in the world, but I hope that some of you guys find it helpful and maybe it just inspires you to get more creative with makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.
comment down below with any video request, anything else you wanna see from me, if you wanna see more drugstore stuff, if you want to see pretty much anything, I'm open to suggestions. I wanna hear what you guys want to see. That's gonna be it for me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, you are beautiful and in and out. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Um, okay, so for our eyeshadow, oh, I almost dropped it, but, and, huh? You're That doesn't look evenly blended at all, Roxanne. Roxanne, you're so bad at makeup. <laughs> this side does not look even. Why is it doing this to me? Ugh. No, honestly, why? Now, you don't think it looks too much? You would wear this to the grocery store? <laughs> so we're doing Smurf eyes today. <laughs> I'm blue, I'm gonna need it to die. It's called Blue Daba Dee by I'm Blue. <laughs> For, oh, um, what am I trying to say? From the drugstore. Drugstore. <laughs> Best infallible pen. <laughs> L'Oreal Paris. Oh, I'm gonna go in with this. Okay. <laughs>